Hello everyone and welcome back to an old game I haven't reviewed or played in two years, or nearly two years. Well, actually I guess it is two years. Wii Sports Resort. Now, not only have I been looking forward to playing this game for a while, but um, due to my sister visiting, I wanted to find something to do that I could do temporarily. You know, something that doesn't really have a story, something to just pass the time. And I realized, what better game to fit this perfectly than Wii Sports Resort? Not only that, but you know, I figure it would probably be better to uh, have a secondary game to upload at the sound same time as uh, Ratchet and Clank. So yeah. Uh, put the Wii jacket in here. Now, I plan on having a brand new start with this. Yep, there we go. Two years ago, I showed you guys all the sports and got a lot of, um, you know, stamps. So, I decided to sacrifice my old save file for a new one. Oh, right, right, yeah, 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 um... Crap, where is that? Just need to connect this. Right, let's slip in the new, uh, Alright, it's connected. Let's put this jacket over here. And let's get started. Apologies for the slight delay. Skydive down to Woohoo Island. Okay, here we go. And there it is, Woohoo Island. Now, if you tilt your Wii remote up or down, you'll generally skydive a lot slower, or faster, I should say.
it's generally kind of difficult to, uh... Well, I guess I just can't go near them. Okay, everyone, form up! Now that's one hell of a way to do an opening. Welcome to Wii Sports Resort. So, it's been two years since I last played this, and my god, the memories are now flooding back. So, let's see, what should we do for our first episode? Alright, so here's what I'll do. I'll show off each of the sports in this first episode. So we have one, two, we have 12 sports to show off. But there are many sports within those sports to show off. So, let's start off with someone, or no, some, something I really like, sword play. Alright, so let's go with swordplay. Ah, you see, now that we've created a brand new uh, pr profile, we have to unlock all the other sports first. We'll start off with duel. Knock your opponent off the platform and your with your sword. Best two out of three wins. So, my plan is, I'm going to show off all of the sports in um, maybe one or two episodes. Okay, here's it. Um, well, no, because... Okay, we'll, we'll see how many sports we complete in this episode. Before, or a bit after an hour. Hopefully before. And I'll continue more of the sports next time after that. And after we show off all the sports... I am, uh, going to do the levels in each of the sports, and I don't know how long that'll take, but eventually I will start going after the stamps. Who knows, maybe I'll get some stamps on my, when I'm not even meaning to. One stamp I really want to get is in bowling. Um, I will discuss it more when we get to that. Oh, wait. I just realized I didn't have to create a new me to make a new profile on Wii Sports Resort. Well, this is the old me and this is the new me. Keep a secure grip on the Wii remote and watch out for people and objects around. Oh, I'm stupid. I don't even have the I don't even have the jacket attached. There you go. Alright, hold the Wii remote and press A and B. So, yeah. Basically the way sword play works is you have to knock the other opponent off. And these are the stamps. Cliffhanger. The final battle ring appears if the two opponents are still locked in a draw after three rounds. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose. You can get the stamp in single player mode only. Straight to the point. Push your opponent out of the ring with the lunge in single player mode. Met your match. Draw three rounds in a row to get to the final battle ring, then draw again for a completely even match in single player mode. You may not have won, but it's no easy feat. One hit wonder. 
push her opponent out of the ring with, with only one strike in single player mode. This is best earned after the ring goes down when you draw three times. Last me standing. Defeat the champion in the duel. The key is to never let your defenses down and attack any gaps you see. There may be some sort of reward if you win this. I believe I may have beaten Matt before, but I don't remember. <clears throat> so, we're gonna start off for a bit. Let's say... Five rounds. And I don't mean rounds against Ryan, I mean rounds against five different people. Okay. Swing your sword by moving the remote up, down, left, or right. The bigger you swing, the more powerful your attack will be. Hold down B and move the Wiimote to block your opponent's attacks. Oh, I think I hit the minus button. Actually, I think after the fifth round, Actually, no. I don't know. I want to. I want to show off what it's like when you get to the actual ring. Now, the uh, foes do get harder as you continue onward. Now, you're probably wondering. Well. Yeah, you're probably wondering, how did you win? You haven't filled the third bar yet. Well, that is actually because if you win one round and you and your foe wins another round, whoever wins the third round still has technically won two rounds. So, yeah, that's how it's decided. Yeah! Alright. Yeah, and give me a second. All right. Oops, I hit my mic. That's what swordplay does to you. <laughs> I love how I can somehow just swing my sword while moving my feet like that and not trip. It's pretty great. I win! But yeah, as you get higher levels, the enemies become harder to defeat. Matt is the ultimate champion. He's like insanely hard to beat. I think if you get to level 1000, um, that's considered being able to face Mike. But I think you get less experience the higher you go to make it more difficult. If you lose a match, you lose experience. But you can, of course, get it back.
I went for it. Swing. They call me the sword of light. They call me the blade of lightning because my moves are so fast, no one can prepare for them. Now, as I said, I have played this game before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. But not entirely. See, I'm getting less experience. Alright. Two more rounds to do it. Notice how this guy, Kiko, or whatever his name is, is level 299. Slowly you'll be put against people who are stronger than you. Poor guy never stood a chance. Nice ponytail, though. Actually, I think um, after round five, I'll do a round six just to show what it looks like. When I win, wow, you poor guy. No, what what it looks like when you uh, draw a match. I don't, I don't know if you get more experience depending on if you do something. But you know. Smack you in the butt. Wait, did I actually? I feel like I smacked him in the butt there. I'm sorry, that's just all too entertaining. I like how you can see Maze in the background too. Nice little detail. Alright, one more match. Theo. Yeah, you should never try to, like, hit the side that their sword is actually on. Because that'll just block it. So basically, hit the side the sword is not on. Alright, I'm going to play again just for a round to show you guys what happens when you draw. So basically, you just guard the whole time.
It's a little bit tricky, but manageable. See, we both tie. And then you just do it again. I can see the desperation in your eyes. But I too am full of desperation. If you actually manage to guard them to the ledge, and you like, lunge at them, I think that earns you a stamp, but I don't really remember how I did it. Now, in the final round, if you lose that final round, then you lose the map, so... Watch this. Oh. I guess I have to do it one more time. Now. Just watch your opponent and react accordingly. Final round! Watch this. I win. You did it! Yeah! Congratulations! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll do one more round because I kind of want to try to get this whole lunging thing. If I can't, then oh well. I'm not going to get it this time. Actually, I kind of want to get that um, other stamp for this... You know. I'm 
know. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh well, I'll probably do that in my own time. Well, may maybe I'll never get it either. Either way works. was fun. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention. Um, I actually have a couple of neat little Wii Sports Resort um, accessories that go with this. Slice objects at the right angle as fast as you can. The judge decides who wins. Wait, is that me in the background? That r right there. Is that me? I think that's me. Okay, so speed slicing. Swing yourself. Okay, yeah. Wait, I got this. Slicing the direction shown by the arrow. Slice faster than your opponent to score a point. First to ten wins. Now, there is an achievement where if you slice a clock at the exact same time, like, if it's like um, 0 0.6 six point, okay, no, 0 0.6.6 seconds or something like that, or 6.6.6. .6. Basically, if the timer is at a perfect time, how did I not get that right? Okay, like I said, I'll worry about stamps later. I just get so into it, you know? 
I didn't even look at the stamps, though. Oh, crap. I really want to get that right. It's always whenever he throws a clock. That you have to do it. Oh, that's cheap. You could easily cheese that. Yeah, you could easily cheese that. Just by pausing it as the arrow thing comes down to be like, okay, I gotta do it that way. I like the I like how it shows you the inside of the acorns too. Alright, let's do four more rounds, but also look at the stamps. Slice and dice. Win the contest without, without missing a single object by slicing the wrong way or failing to slice within the time limit. You can only get the stamp in single player mode. Slicing machine. Correctly slice at least one of each of the 18 types of objects in single player mode. Different colors count as different types. You'll need to play several rounds to get them all. Psychic slice. Cut an object correctly before it even hits the ground in single player mode. You have to be psychic or lucky to pull this off. Double time. Slash the alarm clock when the two digits on the display are the same, such as 88, 77, or 66. You can only get the stamp in single player mode, but cut above. Beat the speed slice champion. And empty your mind and slice with your instincts. So, here's my question. If, if, even if the arrow is showing, does it count? Let's try. Uh huh? You know what? I'll worry about that later. Wait. Okay, okay, you know that's cheap. Just for showing off. Okay, here we go. Damn it! One millisecond too late. Darn it. You know what? Maybe I'll just do three rounds of this. It is also worth noting some of the stamps I'll, I will probably only be trying to earn outside of recording because some of them require a lot of effort. So you might miss you might miss me getting some stamps. So don't worry too much about it because it just means some stamps took a lot of effort. Okay, I want to do this right. If it tells me to slice up, I don't know if I counted. Ah! Whatever, okay. I need to stick to my word and worry about the stamps later. They're just so tempting though. They're so tempting. I really hate those. Wait. 
Ugh, I didn't even do it right. I really don't like those. I really don't. You know what, to be safe, I'm probably gonna have to... Yeah, I was never too much a fan of this minigame. Alright, this will probably take up most of the episode because swordplay is the biggest. Swordplay showdown. Fight a horde of sword fighters. Take three hits and it's over. Defeat all the enemies to win. Okay, that was weird. It wasn't responding. All right. So, um, apparently dinner's not done yet. So, I'll keep playing until it is. All right, where's my, oh wait, here it is. Just in case they call. So, Sword Play Showdown. Basically, you go through- Hey, look, there's me! And I think that's, uh... Yeah. A lot of my me's are here. Yeah, this episode will probably mostly consist of swordplay. I hit the stop practice button by accident. So basically what you do is you go through each of these levels trying to t uh, taking out every me. I don't have my jacket on. So now, some Mies have one hit bit of health. Others have three. I don't like the look on your face, sir. Smaller means are generally much easier to deal with. I got through that without taking a single hit. Oh, there he goes. If your sword's position feels off or is shifted during play, point the Wii remote at the screen and press down on the direction of how to center it. Alright, let's do three stages. And then... I'll, uh, see how long this episode's gone on for, and if it's gone on for long enough, I'll end the episode. Sword Fighter. Defeat all of your foes to clear the first ten stages. You can't just swing wildly and hope for the best. It takes finesse. Perfect ten. Clear stage 10 without taking a single hit and losing a heart. Swordmaster. 
fight down to the final showdown stage. You must master the art of parrying. Untouchable. Fight through the final showdown stage without taking a single hit and losing a heart. So, I will say there are some stamps in this game I'm really not going to want to get because I'm just not a fan of trying that hard. But there are some stamps that I will be wanting to get. So, since I got untouchable, the only thing I really had to lose now is my skill if, if I lose all three hearts. Or my, or my level. If you're lucky, and you swing wildly sometimes, you can deliver a hit to a, bo to a boss foe. So yeah. Teleport. It's kind of creepy. All right. Beach at midnight. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to wait for all these guys to gather and then I just whack away at them. So, that is everything for Swordplay. I'm going to check how long this episode's been going on for. Alright. So, um, apparently dinner's not done yet. So, I'll keep playing until it is. Alright, where's my... Oh, wait, here it is. Just in case they call. So, sword play showdown. Basically, you go to... Hey, look, there's me! And I think that's, uh... Yeah. A lot of my me's are here. Yeah, this episode will probably mostly consist of sword play. I hit the stop practice button by accident. So basically what you do is you go through each of these levels trying to t uh, taking out every me. have my jacket on. So n now some me's have one hit bit of health, others have three. I 
don't like the look on your face, sir. The smaller me's are generally much easier to deal with. I got through that without taking a single hit. Oh, there he goes. Congratulations! Yeah. If your sword's position feels off or is shifted during play, point the Wii remote at the screen and press down on the direction of how to center it. Alright, let's do three stages. And then... I'll, uh, see how long this episode's gone on for, and if it's gone on for long enough, I'll end the episode. Swordfighter. Defeat all of your foes to clear the first ten stages. You can't just swing wildly and hope for the best. It takes finesse. Perfect ten. Clear stage ten without taking a single hit and losing a heart. Swordmaster. Fight down to the final showdown stage. You must master the art of parrying. Untouchable. 